if you're into 3D printing and want to start designing your own stuff but think it's maybe a little too daunting and you don't know where to start, I'm here to help. When I started 3D printing, I saw all these awesome models online that I thought had to be made with magic. Like, how do people do this? And anytime I'd open a CAD software, I would, like, lose my mind. I didn't know what to do, and I would just shut it down and go, this ain't for me. But then I found out as I got into it that this isn't as hard as you would think, and a lot of these modern programs have a lot of tools that just help you get the thing done that you want to do. So after a moment of ADHD hyperfocus, I chose Onshape as the CAD software that I was going to learn in. I chose Onshape because it was browser-based and I could access it from any computer. Onshape really fit what I needed at this point. Plus, Onshape has these self-paced courses where it actually shows you how to use the software and walks you through designing different parts. The first thing I made was literally a rectangle with three holes in it to keep my deck chairs together because they kept sliding apart. And while that was simple, I was so proud that I thought of something, made it, designed it, and printed it, and it worked. Then I designed this thermostat cover for my dad. And then in my quest to gridfinity all of the things, I designed this gridfinity case to hold a flashlight. And it worked. And when I had the confidence, I started to remix files like this Ava 3 tool head cover for my Mercury 1 build that fits a Nomi V2. This one took a lot of trial and error, but at the end of the day, it came out exactly how I wanted it. And again, I made this, which is the most satisfying thing that you can do, is solve problems that you have and make things that you can call your own with a 3D printer. So I guess my reason for making this video is to tell you all out there, if you're thinking about getting into CAD software or you're thinking about making your own things and unlocking the potential of 3D printing, do it. Just go in there and make something silly, make something simple, but just make something. Because the satisfaction that you get from making something as simple as like a cover or like a little ball or something like that is far superior than anything you get from printing another Flexi Dragon. Not that they're not cool. And whether you're using Fusion 360, Onshape, Tinkercad, whatever it is, just find one that you like and start to mess around with it. Don't let anybody else tell you that you're wrong or that you're not doing the right thing because who cares? As long as you're doing it and you're having fun with it, that's what matters. So keep getting out there, keep learning new things, and keep printing.